So this is part two of the tutorial that I'm doing for the Slumber Hotel. So if you haven't watched the previous one, the link will be in the description. It just tells you how to start off with this new update. Anyway, so once you have done those three first quests, you want to come around to the back. Because John Indigos has another quest. You click on them. They say, I believe I have deciphered the map, my friend. I shall mount an expedition post haste. I've already gathered some new tools, but I need a special kind of hammer. You know, to break doors. Something sturdy. I don't know where to begin. Look around the hotel to see if anyone can help you. And you start a new quest. So you need to get a hammer for his expedition. For this, you're going to have to go down into this forge place. And if you come down here, you see there's a new blacksmith quest. Also with a repeatable quest. I'd recommend starting this repeatable quest. Because for the first time you do it, you, you do get a full level of Hypixel Bedwars experience. This is the first out of three repeatable quests that you can unlock right now. So if you click on the blacksmith, he says, I feel like making a hammer. Do you want one? I don't make hammers often enough. There conveniently is a forge right next to me. I can make you one if you bring me the materials. I need quite a few things. 500 iron nuggets, oasis water, a hammer mold, an amulet of King Flut for decoration, a golden ticket for payment. I really want the exclusive members breakfast buffet. Bring me all of that and I will make you the hammer. So you started a new quest. So if you look onto your quest menu, you can see, instead of coming down here every time and clicking on it, you can click on the quest menu or the quest log to see what you need. And you can see your progression through how many iron nuggets you have received. And while we're here, we might as well start the repeatable quest. Someday I'll be in the village blacksmith. I'm training to be, at least. Can you get me some stuff to practice with? And you need to collect 20 iron nuggets for him which you get when picking up iron in the generator. You are also going to need to get 20 silver coins for this blacksmith quest, which you get one silver coin per every item you purchase from the shopkeeper. So purchase wool, that will be the quicker one, as it only costs four iron, and you can easily get 20 coins. And you need that for the blacksmith quest as well. So that's 520 you're going to need for that. If you come over to the other side of the building, there's a new repeatable quest here. Hey, I'm the laundry guy. I wish I had more of an identity, but that's really who I am. I clean the sheets that come in after Bedwars matches are over. At least those didn't get destroyed. Say, can you grab the bed sheet next time you destroy some beds? I'll reward you if you can bring me 10. So you start the quest and you need to bring 10 bed sheets to the laundry guy to get another free level. Every time you do this, so you only get the level once or the XP once, but then you get, I think, 50 tickets each time. I'm not too sure if it's 50. It might be different if there's more of a people quest later on. But yeah, I don't know. So yeah, that's our second one we started. Now we want to go to this little cafe, which is just behind the door, like the spawn area. Just go behind and up. Do you want to either walk around if you can't fly? Go in here. There's a new repeatable quest here called Chef Buckley. They say... I keep missing up, I'm trying to make soul burgers for Chef Grant. The key to a delicious soul burger is to perfectly cook the soul with the right mix of ender dust and, well, soul. We always need more. I can pay you these slumber tickets if you want. So you're going to need to bring 30 ender dust. Obviously not much, but that's still one ender pearl worth of dust if you don't mess up. And you also are going to need dreamers soul fragments, which you get by throwing people into the void. So every single void kill you get you should get a soul fragment. So now you've done all of that, you can now look at your quest log and see what quests you have. The main one is going to be the blacksmith's iron nuggets as the other three are repeatable ones and you'll just earn throughout your time playing anyway. As you can see, I'm already at 25 out of 30 ender dust, which that's that's nice. I wish I was 30 so I don't have to get another ender pearl. But let's do this main quest line. So you're going to need 500 iron nuggets which you can get from picking up iron ingots. And also, save up your tickets, because we should be on 99 right now, and if you're below, then hopefully you can get 100 this game, because we're going to be unlocking the door for 100 tickets after the game is over. So yeah, let's queue up. So by sitting in this generator, we are going to get iron nuggets, which will be good. It's not an item, of course. These are all stats at the moment. There are some items coming up soon, I believe. There we go. We got eight iron nuggets. If I buy anything from the shop, look and chat. I get a silver coin and then it tells you how many you have in total so i have 15. so we need to break 10 beds for this repeatable quest we need 10 void kills yeah and if you see in chat once they die i don't know if it's instant does it say yeah there we go one dreamer's soul fragment there we go i forgot i need the emeralds for the dust for my other quest the repeatable quest you need 30 total okay so as this main quest is going to take a while you do need 500 iron nuggets. And yeah, we didn't get too many. We only got like 
20, I think, or 30-ish, from sitting in the gen, getting two stacks of iron. So I got 18 iron nuggets from all of this iron. God. Yeah, this is going to take a long, long, long time to get. <gasps> I'm going to get another Dreamer's Cell Fragment. Let's go. So yeah, in that game, we got two Dreamer's Cell Fragments, 91 iron nuggets. That's actually a lot more than I thought. And 55 silver coins. So if we check in the quest log, yeah, we are 91 out of 500 the way through the main quest. And we can claim one of the repeatable quests as well, which is just down here inside the little blacksmith place. Not this main blacksmith NPC, this apprentice. If you speak with them, give them the 20 iron nuggets and also the 20 silver coins. They say, yes, that should get me a few more crafts in. Here's your ticket. They give me 50 tickets and 8,000 Bedwars XP, a full level and just over half a level as well. And you can do this like as much as you want, but you only get 50 tickets for the next infinite amount of quests done. So it's just a one-time Bedwars experience. So if you have gotten the 30 Ender Dust like I have, you can now come to Chef Buck here, which they're in the little kitchen cafe plates. So if you click on them, this is the repeatable quest that we started earlier so if you give them the 30 ender dust and the 10 dreamers soul fragments which is 10 void kills they then say ah oh yes there we go with this i can make more soul burgers thank you so much here's your tickets plus 50 slumber tickets and you also get 8000 bed was experience for your first time completing and then also if you have broken 10 beds you can talk to the laundry guy give them the 10 bed sheets and then they go ahead and say and that's 10 sets of sheets. Where were you keeping those? Doesn't matter, time to get cleaning. Here, have some slumber tickets on the house, but don't tell the house. They give you 50 more slumber tickets and 8,000 Bedwars experience for the first time doing it. So this is a good way of grinding tickets. Maybe that was just 100 from those two quick quests. Okay, so while you are completing your Blacksmith Iron Nuggets quest for 500 Iron Nuggets, you are gonna be getting a lot of tickets. So if you have 100 tickets after that first game you played, you're going to want to unlock the throne door. Just come up to it. If you enter the building, it's just on your left. You go past the receptionist right here. Right click it. Can you left click? Yeah, you can also left click. Purchase the door. There you go. You have purchased it and you can now click to enter. So you enter into this place and you can see there's a new quest called King Flut. If you go up to King Flut, click on them. They say you sand before King Flut. Sorry. I meant sand, not sand. There's a lot of sand in here. I can reward you with sand, but before you first must execute these simple tasks for me. You see, I lost an amulet from the kingdom I come from somewhere in this hotel. I shouldn't have wandered off. It's somewhere wet. Can you find it for me? I believe it was behind one of those hotel room doors. While you're at it, do you know the staff? I need a lot of pillows because comfort, you see? Enemy resource spawners will contain comfy pillows once again. Find the amulet somewhere in the hotel and you start a new quest. You need 10 comfy pillows, which like it said, they spawn in enemy resource generators. So you, you do want to play solo or doubles to get the most, but other enemies can pick them up and stop you from getting them. And I'll give you a little tip. Once you get one, do not die. If you put it in your ender chest and die, that item, that comfy pillow, you won't be able to use it. It will just, you'll still have it, but you won't be able to claim it in at your shopkeeper. Okay, so now we've done this one, as you can see in the quest menu, there's a new quest there. So as this quest could take quite a few games, if you have another 100 tickets spare, you're going to want to unlock the hotel door. By it, right click, you then go to the hotel and there's a new quest with the NPC called Hammer. My name is Hammer. I am half werewolf and I hunt werewolves. You know what works well against werewolves? That's right, silver. Shopkeepers on the floating island should have some silver coins. I'll pay you back, I promise. About 100 silver coins should do. So if you already have 100 silver coins from the previous games, you can click on them and give them it. And then they say, you've done it. You brought me 100 silver coins. That's great. I'll use the furnace downstairs to melt it all and make a weapon. I'm not sure which one yet. A blade sounds nice, but my name's Hammer. I can't decide. Have some tickets and this extra hammer mold I have. So you got 50 slumber tickets and 8,000 bedwars experience. Once again, now this quest is done. So you don't need to go into door two anymore. And if you have another 100 tickets, just go all the way to the other side of the building and open up door three, which is desert door. This one's quite special. So if you click on it and go to it, you see this little thing to the left. This is the amulet of King Flut, which is a part of your King Flut mission artifacts quest so you need that and the 10 comfy pillows anyway upon speaking to oasis spirit 
they say, Hello traveller, I am the spirit of this oasis. I can grant you a boon, but first you need to bring me something. Take this dream cell collector. Defeat enemies by knocking them into the void to collect dream cells fragments. Also, bring them to me. 250 dream cell fragments should suffice. So you are going to need to kill 250 people in the void to complete this quest. That is a lot. So once you pick up the amulet from door 3, you're going to want to give it to King Flux. So if you click on them and give them the amulet. Okay, so now we've given them the amulet, we do still need the 10 comfy pillows. I am now on my main account, and I'm currently at 8 out of 10, so we're close to getting that. But I'm only on 29 out of 250 dream cell fragments. And also, I'm close to the 500 iron nuggets quest. So yeah, we've got this quest to do, which will take a while, and we've also got door 3's quest to do. Do. This door was bugged, you couldn't unlock it before, but now you can, but it costs 1,000 tickets, so you are going to need to complete all three of these quests to be able to unlock that door, I suppose. I guess you get a bigger wallet size. So yeah, let's get to completing these. Okay, so I now have gotten the 500 iron nuggets, and also, before I got the amulet and the hammer mod, so I should be able to trade them into the blacksmith now. So if I click on them, give them the iron nuggets, the hammer mold. Okay, so I weren't able to give them... Oh, it's a shiny amulet. A shiny amulet? Is that different? Uh, I'm not too sure how to get that, but I'm sure we can um, figure it out. So what I need right now... Or maybe you get that from... Ah, you probably get it from this comfy pillow quest. So I need one more comfy pillow and a lot more void kills. So to get the comfy pillow item, you want to take out a team, like fully, go into the gen, you see there's going to be this little item here, kind of looks like a present, this item, comfy pillow, do not die, if you die before claiming it in, you cannot claim it in, it just, the item just breaks, it doesn't work, and in chat it says you've lost it. So even if you put it in your ender chest and void, you're dead, you die, you cannot claim it, which we found out yesterday. So you do have to, unfortunately, run back to your base manually and then talk to, I think, one of your shopkeepers or both of them. And there we go, you deposited a comfy pillow. You have one in your generator as well, but you can't pick it up. Also, say, okay, so I got that from blue team, that comfy pillow. Say green team already went to blue and they picked it up, it will not respawn that game. So you're going to have to go to another base and hope maybe pink didn't pick it up from grey and you could get it. Okay, so we have now gotten the 10 comfy pillow. So if we go back to door 1 and into the throne room, we can speak to King Flut again and finish the quest. 10 comfy pillows, there you go. Oh, that's cool. They then say, thank you so much. I found some slumber tickets while wandering around. Also, I have grown tired of this amulet of King Flut already. So why don't you keep it? My face is on it. Neat, isn't it? 50 slumber tickets and 8,000 bed was XP. And from that, I should have been given the amulet of King Flut again. Yes, there we go. So if I go give that to the blacksmith just down here. There we go, have it. There we are, we only need one thing left, which is the 250 void kills. Okay, so I have just gotten my final Dreamer's Soul Fragment, so let's go. So that means I can claim the Oasis Spirit water, like, quest thingy. Oh my god. <gasps> Finally, you have performed well. Here, he should take notice. I shall grant you this important boon and some enchanted Oasis water. <gasps> there we go, 8,000 Bedwars XP, Oasis water, and Oasis Boon collected! Slumber tickets multiplier! That's what I saw on here. Permanently increases your slumber ticket gain by 50%? What? That's awesome! Oh my god. Okay, well now I have this quest over here, the blacksmith quest. Once you've done door 3, you want to come back down to the blacksmith, speak with those, give them the oasis water, and they say, that's all I need, you got it all. That's very impressive, I'll get to work. There you go, one fancy looking Explorer's Urinate Enchanted Iron Hammer. Another free Bedwars level, and you get one Explorer's Urinate Enchanted Iron Hammer, which I guess you now give to John Indigo, who's just up here behind the main entrance. So speaking with them, giving them the hammer, they say, well done, this would definitely do. I'm leaving for the expedition soon. I made this Explorer's wallet for you. It's bigger than the one you currently have. Anyways, I'll get back in a jiffy. And then the hotel receptionist says, you have done well helping the guests so far. It's time to go deeper. So, getting that wallet, because I got a wallet, Explorer's wallet from that NPC, from that quest line. I can now hold 5,000 tickets. 
Let's go. So now that we've done that, this is the end of this part two of the guide. The next part, I'll be opening some more doors and yeah, we'll see where we go from there on. So yeah, there's also going to be three quests that you start off with. So yeah, that video will be out whenever I finish it. I don't know. We will see. Hopefully it's soon. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope this guide did help you. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, comment down if you have any questions or anything. Have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.